Analog Way. So Analog Way is basically in Paris, France. They're right, right on the edge, so we'll round up the Paris. Uh, so some facts about Paris. The Eiffel Tower was supposed to be a temporary installation intended to stand 20 years. It was built for the 1889 World Fair. It is believed that Paris only has one stop sign in the entire city. Has anybody driven in Paris? That's probably true. Um, there are at least three replicas of the Statue of Liberty in Paris. The most famous of them exist on an island in the middle of the Seine that looks towards her sister, uh, the Statue of Liberty in New York. Now, our partnership today is about to go to a, a new level, and I'm really excited about where things are going with Analog Way. Uh, Jay's going to be up here in a minute. I'm going to let him kind of go into detail about our partnership. Uh, but for now, I want to get to something that's equally as exciting, which is Analog Way's new live premiere platform. So think of Live Premiere as the family of products. Aqualon is the 4K and 8K image processor that lives within that family. And these things are extraordinarily powerful. So um, let's take a look at the Aqualon. So this is the front of the box, obviously, versus the um, Live Core platform. There's a lot less buttons, so it's nice and streamlined. It's beautiful. Um, just has all you need to really interface with it. Uh, USBs for updating simple menu controls. So this is a lot more of a clean, sleek design. Then we take a look at the back of this product. As you can see, you got a lot of I.O. Con connectivity. Um, all these uh, I.O. cards are swappable, and there's a lot of different configurations that you can put together based on your show's needs. Uh, it's also really over-engineered. So it includes three power supplies. I believe it'll run on one, correct? Run power supply. So you have two redundancies. Um, and then I'm going to show you something that I've never done before, because normally this isn't very exciting, but in this Analog Ways case, this is. This is the inside of the Aqualon. It is, it's in my opinion, a work of art. It is beautiful. It is well laid out. It's intuitive. It's uh, really meant to be, um, really withstand the rigors of the road. And if you do need to service this, it's very easy to, to field service this. Everything that's in this box was designed by Analog Way. So really, when you look inside of this thing, you can really see that there's been a lot of attention to amazing engineering, and I think it really shows. So um, that's the inside of the Aqualon. Now let's take a look at the family. So for rental and staging, there's four models, the RS123 and 4. And uh, I'll give you some of the specs on these things, which are pretty incredible. So we start with the RS1. Now mind you, when I give you the specs, this is the entry level box. So 4RU chassis, 16 4K inputs, eight 4K outputs, two dedicated 4K multi-viewers, eight 4K or 16 2K layers, 40 megapixels of, of throughput on program at 10-bit 444. That's the base model. The RS2 will give you in addition 12 4K active outputs, 16 4K or 32 2K layers, and this one goes up to 80 million megapixels of throughput. So both of these are really, really powerful. Then it gets even better. Then we go up to the RS3 and the RS4. This is the 5RU chassis, 24 inputs, 12 outputs, again, all 4K, two dedicated 4K multi-viewers, 16 4K or 32 2K layers, 80 megapixels. Then we go up to the RS4, 16 4K outputs, 24 4K or 48 2K layers, 120 million pixels of, of horsepower. Now what's exciting about that is, you know, shows are really changing. They're starting to look more like this. There's a lot of pixels up here. And this is only a show for 150 people. So you can imagine a lot of you are doing shows with huge LED walls, 4K projection is right around the corner. You're gonna need the horsepower. And what Analog Way is really bringing right now at a time that it's needed is products that have really impressive specs and really high uh, pixel throughput. So uh, with that, I'd like to welcome Jay Gonzalez, with, uh, who's the president of the US for Analog Way, to uh, give you some details about our relationship. There you go, Jay. Thank you. Here's your clicker. All right, thank you. Thank you, Tyler. It's good to see many familiar faces and unfamiliar. So welcome that. Thanks for the introduction. The relationship between Evolve and Analog Way is a refreshing one. Evolve and Analog Way share many uh, business philosophies in common. And pointing to the three main elements that I find 
needed for business success obviously include products. You've got to have the right products, problem-solving products. But beyond that, you've got to have the right processes. And more importantly, you've got to have the right talent. That makes up a recipe for success. At Analog Way, we believe firmly in this model, and we believe also that Evolve exemplifies this model. So we welcome the opportunity to work with Evolve, work with all of you, and we think this is going to be a mutually fruitful um, relationship. Now, I'd like to bring in a little bit of background to what the introduction Tyler uh, gave us here. In essence, we believe we have a game changer in the industry, in the area of video processing over hardware. So, to move back, projection technology is still here. It's here to stay for a while. There's innovation every time we turn. However, it's undeniable that direct view LED has become a mega trend. And naturally, there is a push for higher and higher resolution and pitch compaction. And it comes from a demand for ever-increasing size, as well as getting closer to the pixels, as in the case of immersive and interactive technology. The video wall market today is at about 6.4 billion, according to many consultants. Out of that, direct view LED has taken a 41% market share. And if we break that down, Within that market share, we find narrow pixel pitch, where the LEDs are uh, in abundance, I mean, the uh, pixels are in abundance, uh, has taken 26% of that pie. So naturally, there is a growth uh, in the area, as Tyler mentioned, uh, for, or, a, or a, a, a hunger for more pixels we thought that 4K at 12 megapixels was something great. We're continuously deploying screens at multiples of that today, and this will continue. We see no end. So that we have to take in consideration. In addition to that, many trends are influencing Pro-AB. As you know, HDR being one. Of course, if I ask 20 customers, what's your concept behind HDR, how are you going to use it, and so on and so forth. I get 20 different answers. And that's because HDR is still in flux. According to this vent chart from September, you can see it hasn't settled yet. In addition to that, we see many things that haven't settled. They're still in flux, single cable, 8K, High frame rate, dynamic high frame rate at that, which brings extreme complexities in processing. 3D stereoscopic, low latency AV over IP, and much more. We had to prepare ourselves for all of these coming trends, and we think we have achieved that with Aqualon, the first in the live premiere series, and in essence, we had to look forward to what this future looks like, our future looks like, and therefore create a sort of uh, open concept design that would allow the evolution of the product so that your investment is secure. We can continue to evolve as, no pun intended, as uh, the industry adopts and settles on many of these standards. So my time is up, but I want to invite you to our booth 1316 to come see Aqualon. We are located behind Panasonic. Just find Panasonic and you'll see Analog Way there. And bring your passport, go to the register at our reception desk, attend a 15-minute presentation, and request a stamp. But you'll be very impressed, I guarantee it. Thank you, and we'll see you soon, hopefully. Thank you, Jay. Appreciate it.